Okay, I'm about to walk into the Springfield Police Department and uh, see what's going on with my firearm license renewal. It's going on seven months now, and it's the first time I'm going to the police department uh, about it. I've gone to the mayor's office, I've gone to internal affairs, and let's see if I get any luck here. Hello. Uh, yes, I'm just coming in to check in about my uh, renewal for my Class A LPC. And you have your driver's license? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. There you go. I'm here to pick up a report um, under a phone number. Is that okay? Under a phone number? Yeah. So was it, is it like call logs or is it actual incident report? Incident report. I work with marshals. Is this an accident or an incident? Incident. Incident, okay. Is this going to be under your name? Yeah. Current address, but it's under 1400 Boston Road. For a what? Firearm violation. Was that in 2021? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, and when was this denied? Uh, it was denied in January. Let me just grab those. Really? Thank you. Uh, I need to speak to someone in charge because I've been calling up the state and the state has no record of it being denied. Okay. 
and uh, per law, you're supposed to provide me with that in writing. Okay, well, there's a whole situation with that, but I'll get you just ready for you. Okay, so you're going to get a denial letter from the Set. But if it happened in January, it's so, already. Uh, oh, hold up. So there was a person who was here who did your renewal. When it came in, she scanned it, but she didn't send it to the state. We're going to deny it right now for the captain who denied it. And then once that happened, they will have it in their system. And then you'll get the letter. Well, I want the letter today. <laughs> okay, well, you know, And I want to speak to someone today because I've gone to the mayor and everything else. and. I've got to internal affairs. Oh yeah, like this is a... Okay, so what I will do, I don't know if it's recording. I am recording. Okay, so you should have let us know that. With that said, I will mail you the letter to No, you. no, 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 I'm gonna wait for the letter because... Well, I can't do it now. Oh no, no, yes, you're gonna do it now because this was supposed to be done in January. And I'd like to speak to a supervisor. Well, our supervisor and that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> January. <laughs> hey, supervisor Christine went to lunch. Oh, no, no, I don't want to wait. Come. I don't want to speak to a civilian supervisor. I want to speak to someone actually in uniform in charge. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Okay, Just thank you. Second, okay? Definitely. <laughs> I've been dealing with this corruption with the Springfield Police Department for a while now. <laughs> Trust me, the video's not about you guys, it's about corruption with the police department itself. <laughs> and I still got my driver's license.
<clears throat> you have got to be kidding me. They denied it in January and never notified me of this either. Never notified the state. Never notified me, never notified the state. Which is a direct violation of mass general law. And I've been waiting all of this time. Can I get my license back while I'm waiting? Thank you. speak to someone in charge. I believe you're a deputy, right? Deputy yeah. Chief? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've been trying to figure out what's been going on with my renewal for my Class A LTC okay. for months now. Okay. I've gone to the mayor's office. I've gone to internal affairs because of a situation with some of your officers. Yeah. Like uh, a lot of misdeeds have been done so far. Okay. And uh, I was just informed just now that my license to carry my renewal was denied in January. Okay. Just being notified right now. Okay. After I've gone to IA, I've gone to the mayor's office, I've done every contact with the state almost on a weekly basis, you know, with CHS, to ask for an update. All right. We all know Mass General Law says that if it's denied, it has to be furnished right away. Have you talked to them yet? Yes. Give me a minute. Let me go see what's going on. Yeah, because I'm looking for Jeff Donnelly. Donnelly? Yeah. Give me one second. You probably have heard of me already. No, okay. Actually, right. I have. That's a miracle. You're making me nervous. I'm a very opinionated person who ran for mayor before. 
Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so he's talking to them at least. So they probably called him down. They don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So much paperwork, so much paperwork. Don't worry, I'm not going to film you. Oh. Huh? They don't mind. Okay. It's all about police corruption. I've been waiting on sit my fire license to be renewed for seven months now. So I just come in here, I've called up the state and stuff, I've gone to the mayor's office, internal affairs, they're telling me that they denied, they, that they denied it back in January. They denied the renewal? Yeah, in January. Wow. Exactly. No. They didn't tell you why, because they didn't deny it. Nope, but the thing is, I ran for mayor of Springfield four years ago. Every debate I went to, I'm like this. How can I be suitable for a Massachusetts Class A firearm license, right? 
but the same Springfield Police Department finds me not suitable to renew my business license, my Hawker Peddler's permit. I need to sell the book I wrote exposing corruption. So what happens? I painted a target on my gun license, and what do they do? And then they don't even notify me that they did not. And I called up the state, you know, Corey, you know, Sieges, whatever. They're like, nope, it's under review. Nope, it's under review. When they get, when you get in there, when you get in there in their target area, you're, oh, yeah. you're, you're, you're in trouble. Oh, yeah. They do everything. They won't respond. Well, actually, they filed charges against me too, right? You're going to love this. When I first went to renew it, you know, they sent back the application with the uncashed check. And in my renewal, I just wrote, I'm like, this look, if you guys are, if it's being denied or whatever, you know, my firearm's gonna be in Vermont. I've already been taken care of. How hard is it for them to make a copy of a document? Yeah, the police don't like when you bring corruption into the public view. <laughs> I don't know why, really. No transparency. Huh? No transparency. Nope.
You see, I ran for mayor in Springfield four years ago, and at every debate I was actually stating corruption, proving corruption actually, right? The media refused to even write even one word of it. It was crazy people, I'm like, how can I be suitable for a Massachusetts firearm license, right? But not suitable for renewal on my business license, my Hawker Publish permit, that I used to sell the book I would expose the corruption. So what do they do? When my license comes up for renewal, they send me back the application with the uncashed check. Yeah. And as I said, I'm like, if my firearm license is not, you know, if it's not renewed, my guns are going to be in Vermont, where I'm still legally allowed home. About eight days after my license expired, they called me up and told me, bring my guns in because my license has been revoked. Then they charged me and arrested me for refusing to bring guns over in Vermont. In Vermont, I'm legal. How crazy is that? And the judge ordered me to go to Vermont and get the guns and turn them in. Retired a couple days later and got a job with the city of Springfield. <laughs> Tell me if that ain't crazy. And now I've put in for renewal again back in December. I've gone to the mayor's office, I've gone to internal affairs and everything. I've contacted the state weekly to find out, you know, what's going on. Like the state, uh, state agency that's in charge is telling me the city of Springfield is still, it's still under review. It's still under review. So I finally come down here today, shuffling paperwork and everything else, talking to this first market. They denied me in January and never sent out the paperwork. How crazy is that? <laughs> That's what happens when you actually stand up and buck the system. And I used to work in DYS. And I was with the Springfield Park Rangers. <laughs> so it's not even like I hate cops. I just hate bad cops. Good cops deserve raises. Bad cops deserve the unemployment line. Like I remember back in the day when the cop cars used to say to protect and serve. Now it's to arrest and fine. And I got this deputy chief in there right now with the paperwork who doesn't know what to do. Like, all that they have to do is give me it. Right, uh, yes. Are you recording? Yes, I am. Right, I'm going to be recording That's fine. you also, okay? Hey, it's perfectly, hey, we're in public. We can record everything. Okay, yeah, right. So. But I am surprised that the deputy chiefs have the body cameras now. Okay. What my understanding is, is that you were denied in January. You never got a denial letter. That's what you're, that's what you're complaining about. Yes, because I've gone to Internal Affairs, the mayor's office, I've contacted the state, so the state isn't even aware of this. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you one today. Thank you. That's a denial letter. I mean, well, I, yeah. You kind of pulled me into this, so that's huh? the way it is. I got pulled into it, so this is the way it is. And who denied me? Uh, it's not on there. I don't know who denied you. It's just a denial letter. Well, yeah, but so it usually says who denied, and... Uh, uh, I'm not... This is, we, everything that we have, it says Superintendent Clapper. There's no individual person that denied you that goes on that letter. Usually it would be, because when it was the revolt, it was actually Deputy Chief Kent. Well, that's different. I don't know what to tell you. This is the letter they gave me. That's the clerk's office that gave me the letter to give to you. Uh, as far as now, from what I'm understanding is that you have a firearm violation. This is why you were... Denied. You're going to love this one. Your officers who are in, under internal affairs investigation right now okay. charged me for refusing to turn your firearms that were in refusing Vermont. Refusing to do what? Return? to turn in firearms that were in Vermont. Okay. Your officers went to Vermont and got the firearms. Yes, your officers went to so, Vermont. Oh, okay, but so the original firearm charge, uh, you're saying it was because you refused to turn in, in firearms that were in Vermont. Okay. Yes. I don't, I don't know. I know, it's crazy. 
It makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? Well, my thing is here, what I'm trying to rectify is the fact that you said that you never got a denial. Exactly. So what that denial letter right there does, it is as of today. So you still have your 90 days to appeal it. My issue is, if I would have been given this in January, I would have already appealed it and already have won. I can't argue that with you. I don't have any – Well, I'm going to give you some good advice, all right? You're going to give me good advice? Yes. Okay, go ahead. So whatever deputy chief denied this is going to have to go to court and testify during the hearing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So the thing is, like, the advice I would give, right, is if you have access to former police commissioner Barberi or whoever does, that they should talk to Barberi, talk to Kent, and talk to Cheenan, former deputy chief Cheenan, whatever. Basically, talk to those individuals and see if they want to – if whoever made this ruling, if they want to reverse it because all those people have been – I don't know if it's a deputy or the captain. I don't know who denied you. So the thing is, I don't know – I'm not saying it's deputy chief because captains also do. Okay, I thought it was just the deputy chief level. No, no, no. Captains also do. There are numerous people that do this. So I don't know what to tell you about that. How do I find out who did it, though? Because – That would be through the court process when you appeal it. And that person would have to come in, and they would testify on behalf of Superintendent Clapper as to why you were denied. Okay, because it doesn't say who. All you have to do, you go through the appeals process, and everything that you'll need to know, you'll find out when you get there into the court. And that person, whoever it was that denied you, if you feel that it wasn't a just cause – And I'm just wondering, why does it say 6-9-2023 on this letter? Because that gives you – because if they would have – you're saying that you were never notified before in January. Yes. Your 90 days would be up. Okay, well, I want the one from January, too, because I want to prove that – I don't know what to tell you about that. I don't work in the clerk's office. So you can't give me the original as well? Obviously, if you're saying that there wasn't one, there wasn't an original made up. So there was never an original made up. I can't tell you that for sure. I don't work in there. My thing was to rectify this so you wouldn't be past the 90 days before you could appeal it. It's to do it today because this is the first time you're being notified. So I think that in all fairness, you should be able to go from this day to 90 days forward. Oh, yes, exactly. You know what I mean? So that's why – But the thing is, I would like the one showing that it originally was January. I don't know anything about a denial letter from January. I have no idea anything about that. I can't tell you anything about it because I don't have the answer for it. Okay. I'd love to be able to tell you that. I don't have the answer for it. You know what I mean? I do appreciate this. Good luck to you. Just stay safe. Do what you have to do. Just appeal it, and you'll get all the answers you need. And just remember something about me. I've got a degree in criminal justice. I was with the Springfield Park Rangers back in the day for a little while. I worked in DYS for a little while, you know? I'm not anti-cop. Right. I'm anti-bad cop. Absolutely. I know. Exactly. Exactly. But that's just what I'm saying. So no matter what you hear from me and stuff like that, you know, like I am – you know? There's never a problem with holding the police accountable. Exactly. I don't have an issue with that. I hold police accountable. That's my job. I know. That's why I'm just letting you know, though. It's not like – I've got nothing personal against law enforcement as a whole, just anti-bad cops. And when you look at it, when they charge you – oh, yeah. And Sergeant Podersky, during trial, you know this guy had the nerve to say during trial? And I asked him, like, so you believe that the firearms are in Massachusetts? He's like, yes, I do. I'm like, okay. I'm like, was there anything you could have done to verify? He's like, no, there wasn't. I'm like, so you couldn't have applied for a search warrant? He's like, for where? I'm like, my residence? I'm like, you guys were notified they were in Vermont. You filed charges against me for property that I stated was in another state where I was still legally allowed to own. You arrested me for this. Well, no. Well, I can't – you know, naturally I can't comment. I know. I wasn't involved in the case. I don't know anything about it. My thing is right now – Like, this is the first time I'm getting you on the right – Right. It's getting you on the right track. Yes. So you can get your appeal process going so everything can be done. So that way – That's kind of like why I'd like to know, like, what officers were involved in this too because that way I can see if there's any taint with anything else. Well, that's what I'm saying. But I don't have the packet. I don't have anything from back in January or anything like that. My thing was 
for them to find out if you were denied, they said you were, to get the paperwork for you, give you the paperwork so you can start the process. Okay. That's all I can comment on, because I don't know okay. anything. Once again, stay safe, all right? You do the same, okay? All right. Well, I'll try. All right. Thank you. Thank you as well. Okay. This right here is a biggie. They have on it today's date. And with the Bruin decision and everything else, they had no justification to deny me. But I had a feeling that they were going to try to pull that, uh, you know, that case about my firearms being in Vermont. I, I had a feeling that that's why they actually filed that against me. Plain and simple. Okay, well, I'm going to stop filming now, but yeah, check out JP Donnelly 8, Instagram, Facebook, just about everywhere.